What's up guys, JB Tech here and I want to give you some news that iOS 5.1.1 did get released. So, what if you have a jailbroken device and you're thinking about updating but you're still not sure? Well, there is some awesome news because iOS 5.1.1 is available to be jailbroken already. And we'll go walk through this though. So basically, what we're going to have to do is download the iOS 5.1 firmware of your device. And another thing, you will have to be having an A4 device, meaning you have to have an either a iPhone 4, iPhone 3GS, iPod Touch 3G, 4G, or an iPad 1. So this does not work on the iPhone 4S, nor on the iPad 2, or the new iPad. So be aware of that. If you do update on those, you are screwed. Basically, plain and simple, <laughs> until the new jailbreak does come out for those devices. So... For now, it is only available for A4 devices. So let's go ahead and download this. And I haven't even installed this yet. So I do have my iPhone 4. Of course, this is my iPhone 4 if y'all aren't aware of it. Now, if you're not really aware of what it actually does, this whole update, it's it doesn't do much. Like, it's not that of a drastic change from iOS 5.1 to this newest 5.1.1 it just basically fixes a few bugs on the HDR and stuff like that if you're not needing to update then I'd recommend you just to not update at all just stay where you're at this is not a crucial update so don't worry about it if you haven't updated yet but if you accidentally did and you are jailbroken this is a lifesaver because Muscle Nerd did release some news earlier today he tweeted out that it still is able to be jailbroken just as long as you have iOS 5.1 so that's always great news to get whenever you are jailbroken and you accidentally did update so yeah but of course it's only for A4 devices so be aware of that so let's go ahead and jailbreak this now alright guys so I just did a fresh install of iOS 5.1.1 as you can tell here let's just simply go into settings and general and go to about and then we do see version 5.1.1 down there so I decided to just do a fresh install and just show y'all that it is able to be jailbroken easily and what we'll have to do is we'll have to download the latest version of Red Snow which is going to be Red Snow 0.9.10b8b and also we will need to have our iOS 5.1 firmware of whatever device we are jailbreaking so for instance Right now, we are doing the iPhone 4, and so I uh, will need to have my iOS 5.1 firmware downloaded. I'll leave all the links and everything down below in the description bar where you can find those along with the Red Snow link and everything. So simply open up Red Snow, and then after, of course, you do download the firmware, we will need to go into Extras. As you see down here, it does say Connected iPhone 4 5.1.1. So we'll go into Extras. We'll have to select the IPSW because we will have to point Red Snow to iOS 5.1. So I downloaded my version of 5.1 right here for my iPhone 4. It says successfully identified. Go ahead and hit OK. And then now we'll simply hit back and then jailbreak. So here is going to patch up the kernel and prepare all the jailbreak data. And once this is done, we'll have to go through some options and then we'll put our device into DFU mode so it's really easy to do don't panic if you're new to jailbreaking it's really simple simply have install Cydia checked right here we'll hit on next and then here it tells you the directions of what you should do and everything as I always do I do always back up my iDevice just in case if anything goes wrong just to be safe you should always have your backed up data just in case for some reason you do restore your iPhone or something and you want to have all your stuff back so go ahead and back up your device on your iTunes and then once you're done with that come back and then put your iPhone into DFU mode and all that jazz so what I have to do of course here it does say to plug in your iDevice my iDevice is already plugged in down here so now we'll simply put our iDevice into DFU mode it does say to turn off but you don't even need to turn it off to be honest we we'll just simply have to hold down the power button and the home button for 10 seconds and then we'll let go of the power slash sleep button or whatever you want to call it and then we'll keep holding down the home button for 7 seconds so I'll walk through this with y'all so simply hold down the power and the home button for 10 seconds let go of the power 
keep holding down the home button for about 7 to 10 seconds and then it'll go to DFU mode. You'll see your screen change and then that's when you know everything is going perfect. So let's go ahead and put our device into DFU mode. DFU mode, I can't even speak guys. Hold down power and the home button for 10 seconds. It will shut off. Now let go of the power button but keep holding down the home button. If you did this successfully you will have red snow going to exploding with lime rain and all of that good stuff. So now it's basically preparing everything, about to get everything ready to get jailbroken and then we'll be ready to go. So here on the screen where we'll see some some funky stuff coming up. Don't panic. This is normal so don't worry about that. Go ahead and zoom in a little bit but that's all I can zoom in. I thought I had more camera zoom in action thing going but I guess not. But anyways you do see this funky matrix code kind of thing. Don't panic that is normal for all jailbreaks. So just let this sit. This will take a while. It'll probably take about up to five minutes maybe or maybe less but let this sit don't do anything and then we'll come back when this is all done alright guys now it has unlocked or it has turned back on I should say so we'll simply slide to unlock we'll simply slide over to the right and we do see Cydia is a white icon so once we press it as you see it does not open up don't panic because that is normal because this is a tether jailbreak so Let's go ahead and we have to put our device into DFU mode once again. But let's go ahead and go into Red Snow one more time. We'll go back, go into Extras, Just Boot. This is what you will always have to do with this Tether Jailbreak because if you're not familiar with Tether Jailbreaks, you will have to always plug it into your computer and run Red Snow and do this process every single time you do reboot your phone or if your battery dies or something like that. You'll have to put this through this process every single time. So it's not much of a big deal because we can actually kind of avoid this a little bit until the untethered jailbreak is out. But I'll show you all that at the end of the video. So let's go ahead and have this on this screen right now. And then we'll put our device into DFU mode once again. So hold down the power button and the home button for 10 seconds. Let go of the power button. Keep holding down the home button for 7 to 10 seconds. So let's do that right now. So if you did that successfully, of course you will get again exploding with lime rain screen on red snow on your computer. And then this will again go through this process one more time, but this time it will be a little shorter. It won't be like the normal first thing that we did with all the matrix code and all that stuff. So let's go ahead and sit through this. You will get the pineapple screen. If you do not get the pineapple screen, you did something wrong. So do these steps one more time. And then you should get the pineapple screen whenever you do the just boot. So be sure you get that pineapple screen. And then you'll be good to go. Alright guys, now our device has came back on. And then we'll simply slide to unlock. Let's go ahead and scroll over to the right. Now we do see Cydia. So that's always a good sign, guys. So let's go ahead and open that up. And then now we do get the choices to be, or it asks us, who are you? Well, I am a user, hacker, or developer. Normally I just use developer, but for now let's just go ahead and do user because maybe some of y'all aren't sure what you'll do with Cydia. So go ahead and choose user just to be safe and then you will get this home screen load up and that means you successfully jailbroken iOS 5.1.1 using iOS 5.1 firmware when doing Red Snow. So that's it guys. You successfully broke in your iDevice running 5.1.1 so congratulations but I'm not finished yet because I'm going to show you all how to actually have an semi untethered jailbreak with downloading a simple tweak off of Cydia so let's go ahead and do that alright guys so what we'll simply have to do is of course we'll have to be on Cydia so go ahead and open up Cydia if you haven't done so yet and then we'll go into manage and we'll have to add a different source here so we'll go into sources and then we'll have to edit up top on the right and then we'll hit the add button right down there on the or up there on the top left 
and then we'll have to add this source I'll leave this down in the description below and on screen right here the big boss dot org forward slash semi tether now what this will do we'll hit simply hit add source real quick and then it will add this source and then we'll have to download it from this source so what this actually does is say for instance you're not close to a computer your phone accidentally dies but you really need to use your phone still so go ahead and charge it up wherever you're at and you won't need a computer or anything let's go ahead and hit return to Cydia and what it will actually do it will still boot up and everything but the only back draws would be that your Safari won't work, Cydia won't work, none of the tweaks will work but all of that can be easily fixed by just doing the just boot through Red Snow like what we always do so you simply have to reboot it through Red Snow once you get home then everything will be working perfectly so don't worry about that I believe if I'm not mistaken emails won't work as well whenever it does die but you can still boot it up without having to use a computer with having this tweak installed. So let's go ahead and open up this big boss repo down here and then we'll have this semi tether tweak right there and then we'll simply hit install. So now we'll go ahead and confirm it and then we'll install it of course and then now like I said if your phone dies or you have to reboot your phone for some reason it'll still boot up and everything because if you don't have this on there let's go ahead and restart the springboard if you don't have this on there, you'll be stuck in the Apple boot logo forever until you do boot through Red Snow. So just be aware of that if you're not familiar with Tether Jailbreaks, that is what basically what's going to go on. You'll be in the Apple boot logo forever until you do the just boot through Red Snow. Or if you have this semi-tether jailbreak tweak installed. So that's it right there. So let's I'm going to show you real quick. So let's go ahead and turn off our device. Because normally, if we do turn off our device and try to boot it up, it won't boot up anymore. So let's go ahead and try this out, and I'll show you that this actually does work. So let's go ahead and turn our device on. So now our device is turned on, and I'm sorry for the smudges, guys. It's kind of dirty, my phone. I need to clean this up. But this will boot up perfectly. It'll work. And, but I'll show you what things don't work really quick. So once it does boot up, I'll show you. All right, guys. So let's go ahead and slide to unlock. And then I will show you. Let's first start off with Cydia. Cydia will simply keep closing down, of course. That won't work. Safari won't work. It will close down. It will just die on you right there. So as you see there. And I believe, yeah. Okay, the email is confirmed that it does not work. So, email won't work as well. And right now, for some reason, it's still up. But just now, it just died on me. So, huh. We'll have to see about that. But, as far as we know, Safari, I know they updated this a while back, but I don't believe, I don't know if emails work. But I could be wrong. So if you do find out that emails do work because I did set this up as a new brand new phone and I did a fresh install of course of iOS 5.1.1 so I don't have any emails configured or anything like that. So as far as I know Safari and Cydia don't work. Let me know if you find anything else that doesn't work in the comment section below. But that's it for this video guys. Hopefully I got this working perfectly and smoothly by watching this tutorial. And of course, as always, hit that little like button in the bottom left to show me that you like it. Give it a little thumbs up. And also, leave a comment down below if you have any questions or anything like that about this video. And let me know if this helped you out because I would love to know. And yeah, guys. So, as always, hit that subscribe button up top for more jailbreaks, tutorials, and all that good stuff. But that's about it, guys. So, until next video, I will catch y'all later.